Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm this is Private Talk Podcast with Alexis Texas, and today we have an After Dark episode, and I have the pleasure of having one of my friends with us on the couch, Nat Turner. Facts. Hey. Nat Turner in the building. Hey, applause. Yeah. You brought New York to me since I haven't been to New York in quite some time. I appreciate it, you know? Yeah, you had to facts, show love. Facts, you know, I, well, I wish I could have been like Texas you, things just to like represent. You don't want to go in there. It's a little snowy. A little snowy. A little snowy. You know you know? I mean? A little snowy. A little snowy. A little snowy. How so, have you, know, you been, so love? It's been, been some good. time. Like I said earlier, you know, I've got a snippet of me talking about it. But I love following your Instagram. You definitely are one of my favorite characters to watch because Thank you're just you. so you. And I, I think that a lot that. of people, you know, you come from an era where it wasn't all social media as much as it is in your face now. And for you to adapt to the point, it's like sometimes it's even weird she, for she me. She's telling my age You know right what now. I mean? I, you know, you age, know, like so I'm doing that, you know, in my nice way. But yeah, no, but, I'm old, but. But it's, it's true, okay. though. It's like you, it's like a different <laughs> thing is like it's just you. And a lot of people, I think the distinguishment of what made fans still fuck with you mm -hmm. and like in everybody is like when it came to social media with like so much video content was we had to really be authentically ourselves. Yeah. And some people have no personality. And you could tell right away where that was and what what you could do no, and elevate no, for that. It's you not know? only just being yourself just being somebody mm -hmm. like i think a lot of them just honestly like you said didn't have any kind of personality or you see as the action or the finished product and it but it's but also hard too really is because i will say even can't show your personality in big of personality than i that. am but it was hard for me to start doing it, like holding the phone up like this is odd to me. I would rather have this where people are seeing us, so it's more mm. natural for me. So that's why that's I envy you is like with the Instagram stories, I do it like BTS style and things like that is because I get intimidated. I'm like, I don't really know if anybody wants to know what the fuck I'm doing right now. But you know, and that's it's just what it is. And also to no, safety that's, that's reasons. And that's why I post things later, you know, later in time, in real time. You know, you're a man that no one's really going to follow fuck with you. I'm sure you've had some encounters. Um, but most times, like, you could really just be authentically yourself. And I'm sure you get mad love from people telling you all kinds of things. Facts. I, I think that, um, I think all those points you have is interesting. I didn't even, I don't really look at it like that because welcome, I am man. who I am and it's, you know. No, but it's true. But that's I, also what's cool you know to have I mean? the podcast and communicate with. Like, I haven't seen you in forever. We're, you know, we've been friends for years. We've seen each other Facts. at, like, uh, conventions, this, that, and the other. You've known me through all kinds of ups and downs in my in my life. But you know what I mean? <laughs> but, it's, but it also feels gross. You know what I mean? And I think that from Facts. the beginning, you've always checked on me. You've always showed love. And I just, for me, that's just real. It's like, what's no, what I, I see? I, I always thought that was... Between the situation between me and you was always <laughs> genuine. Like I remember the first time I saw you, and you know <laughs> I was with Can't a company that didn't do interracial shit, but we still wanted to shoot you. Yeah. So I I I'll never forget that day at that particular time. It was like, tell us about All right, it. So who you want to work with? And then we we gonna still shoot you because we, we value your work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it was what a, company? What, it was a what? black company. It was Justin Slayer. Okay. It was Justin okay, Slayer at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, was, yeah, yeah. trust me, no, you might like, not like, even really me, remember no, that. I do it was like she context, didn't but, work with none of us at, at, at that sense. You know, you didn't do interracial at the time. But we was like, we still want her to be a part of which this Which I still company. never do, which is a big stigma of which why I made a comment earlier before you came on was that I'm curious to see what the comments say and things <laughs> is because I always get ridiculed on certain things. And I also have my friends, you know what I mean, to get the, you know, the backlash of things where I'm like, let's just have a conversation if you really want it. It's like people are so taboo about it where it's like, I why think, does it have to be that no, way? Like, no, let's I just think, get it all out. On no, the honestly, this is what I truly feel about it. Nat Turner. <laughs> is that it, it is a career move it is a, it is a um it's it's okay so this is what i think the career should start off with technically to cuz you got to understand we going to last longer than you guys do and and you're talking about from for, females to males no i'm yeah females to males the dudes is going to last way longer than a, a female does at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what the female, she could be the biggest ever, whatever the case may be. The dude, white or black, gonna last a little longer. So I think for in order for females to last longer, there is a gimmick. And that gimmick is 
at the end of the day, save that inner race you took the last link of your career? Because I think, honestly, it should start off technically. Now that I know how this shit work and I've been in it for a minute, it's like, okay, girl, girl. And matter of fact, solo, then girl, girl. Then boy, girl, not in a ratio if but you like. But most white. people don't and really then, do it that way. No, I know. Most people don't. But yeah. what I'm saying is me, from the my experience are, yeah. of me being around so long, I understand that that will prolong your career. Girl, girl, solo, girl, girl, boy, girl, if you're white, not in a ratio. And then something like an anal. And then in a ratio. Like that would prolong your career i understand that sometimes it's not that it's it's for other reasons so i understand that that's what i get confused about when it's for other reasons but if it's for that to really legitimately prolong your career i respect that yeah you know what i'm saying i feel like and i agree when i know what you're saying as far you know as like, you know what i'm saying like it's a progression to this been lots of you know people ask me because i always think it's like Especially at conventions, people always when I ask me whatever, and I'm like, ask me which one. You may not like my what I say, but it's what I it's yeah, my yeah, truth. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I'm like, the way the business works, that's what it is. Mm. And you know, in the time of when I got in the business, you get advice from your agent, and that's what they tell you that mm. that's just what it is. The more that I was in the industry, and the more that it was, you know, became. I didn't know that I was going to be Alexis Texas and how popular I was going to be among people too and how fast that happens. Yeah, that yeah, when you. you start to hear things, it's like now I automatically, just because I didn't do it, now I'm a racist. Now I'm this. And I'm like, wait, no. why is that? Because I have a choice of what I'm doing and who I'm fucking. Does that matter to like those levels where it's like, I love everybody. It doesn't no, matter I, color, race, or anything. And I've had many friends, and my stepson, you know, was African American. Like, and I why should it be a that. thing of why it needs to be who I'm having sex with? So then when it became that, and I thought it was very ugly, I'm like, why should I give y'all what I want to prove a point to you? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, I already live a life where I know that that's not the truth. So who am I proving it to? Why? And then it was like that, and it just became a, a, an ugly thing. And then I got in a relationship, and then, you know, my person didn't want me to work with anybody. And then I got out of the industry, and now I just do OnlyFans stuff, single and solo by myself. But, you know what I mean? I feel like people put such a label on it because there had to be a, such a big thing. And people were like, oh, your parents are racist. No, actually, no. My dad's <laughs> Puerto Rican. Like, you know what I mean? If anybody knows the history of all those things, you know what I mean? There's a lot more to it. So I feel like people don't really know who the real me is. And that's why I love having friends like you that you've always stood by me, Marie, like everybody. It's like, and not that I need yeah. people to stand by me, Facts. but it's just been authentic. We've had a relationship from yeah. the beginning that I met you and it's a loving relationship. Yeah. So I feel like... I was very surprised. I, I am. Never, I am surprised by people saying shit. I never felt that way about you at all. I mean, I wouldn't fuck with you if I felt that way. I always felt that you. And I and you're she a, always a real, fucked with me. So all that shit, motherfuckers is talking about. Nah, she always fucked with me. You know what I mean? Do so you know I, what went so to like, me was what? I don't know if you remember this because my story with you is what solidified to me that you were like above all. I would always think that you were a G, like whatever. There was a moment in Vegas when a. A situation happened, <laughs> and it was just a, a matter that. a matter of the like whose dick is bigger, but whose <laughs> my situation should have been a lot more louder than what it was, and I was just like, "You're a bitch," and I had more people like yourself and some other other individuals be more an advocate for me to have my back when you didn't even know what the situation was. I was like, okay, you're a real one I, for that. Just I because I felt I like, I was that. like, I'm all alone, but I'm not alone, but you're, what's going on here? And I'm I like, look around that. and I'm like, look behind me and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. And I know that I wasn't wrong because a lot of times people just talk whatever and I'm not that person to just rah, rah, like in your face for no reason yeah. where I genuinely feel disrespected and I had to tell that person that that wasn't going to be tolerated. I do. I, I so, fuck y'all not. So, I'm not even going like, I'm going to let you like, rock how people, you rock with that. What, but what happened? That's I'm what I'm like, for me, the certain names nah, of whatever I, I doesn't feel need you. to I be talked that. about because it was. But that was to me what showed me your true colors nah, of like being I a real that. gentleman and respected <laughs> the fact that you were going to just make sure that I was safe if I was right, wrong, whatever. You didn't know yeah, really what was like, going nah, on. But you're like, wait, this is not happening. And that's why I was like. You're a real dude. So at that no. point, I was like, I took the time to really get to know you more and mm -hmm. kind of be that was because I was like, I think I I cherish things like that because there's not a lot of loyal people in the mm -hmm. world that really like get down. No, that's a fact. I, I truly okay. remember that day and that was love. 
Hey. So what have you been doing? What have you been up to since the pandemic? I know it's been life's kind of kind of semi normal again, but um, you know, what's what's been going on with Nat Turner? I just I don't I just living my life and just trying to Living your best life. Yeah, yeah. Trying to move around and, and, and see what, what my next chapter is, really. You know what I mean? How I, do you I'm not really move sure. around in all these and, uh, cities and always go out? Like, how do you have that energy? I'm tired for you. Yeah, I, I feel <laughs> you. But I I mean, I, I saw mean, your Instagram stories this morning. You were out last night. I was like, I was. he is better yeah, man. I, I think. But you always are, you know, you always show you going home. You know, whatever. I'm like, at yeah. least that's love, too. I'm like, okay. He's at least safe. I know he's good. <laughs> I sound like a total stalker, but nah, it's the truth. facts, facts. That's why I need to be easy on that, because certain other motherfuckers, they like, like I know exactly what you did at this time. Then you went I over there. I just told on all your like, girls. I'm sorry. I'm not even like, your girl, but I was like, yeah, okay, you're good. Got nah, it. Mm-hmm. nah, I, I'm good. I'm but good. do you, when you go out in those situations, do you just go out because you like want to be out, or like, do you see people who are like, hey, not and like, just show you love? Like, how does that no, work? No, I, I mean, you? I get love, and it's all good. But you gotta understand that. It's it's I've been here so long. None of that's it's it's just I pull up. I don't pay for no parking. I don't pay I to get in. I don't pay for no drinks. I don't pay for none of that. So so you sitting at home and you like, you know it's popping. Why not pull up? Cause you like you know what I mean. You just so wanna, it, you it spoils me on. in that What's sense. Like that? I'm a sad. I'm a sad. Okay. I'm a sad. So I gotta pull up. Sometimes it, I have to drag myself there. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I am getting a little older. Like, come on, my nigga. I, I want to sit on the couch and just smoke a blunt and chill. But then I be thinking, like, it's nothing to me. Like, True. I mean, it up. is still like, good to be out there. I'm yeah, just a it's little, cool. Like, I, you know, like it's, it's not. It's just harder for me these days. But, you know, but no, I envy I think, you. But it's also, too, for females to males. Yeah, in no, our you probably get a a little bit more. But profession is different. Yeah. Yes, I won't pay for this, that, whatever. But then I'm going to have somebody talking to me the whole fucking time, thinking that I'm going home with them, that they're my new best friend, and I don't want any of that. Not that I don't like to engage with people, but I don't like people feeling that if they're paying something for me, that I have to mm. owe them something. So okay. I will rightly pay for my own table and I, you know, these things in like in that situation. So then we need to hang out then. <laughs> You're like, where come out every now and then. Just come on. Are you just gonna be my security? So and we'll be like, you know nah, my yeah, security. like nah. I used to see well, you, you back in the give day. Me the wink and be like, I think it was oh, was it the day club, penthouse day club? I ran into yeah, you a couple times facts. there. I no, remember no, drunk facts. talking to you a couple times. I was like in my day, like I have a day partier all day. like when it comes to nighttime, Cinderella gotta go home. I feel you. I feel so, you. So, you know, Sunday, fun day, great day. You know, all those activities, those those are good for me. And where are you originally, originally from? Like, where did you go to high school at? Like, I went to high t- school in Texas. It's in not Texas. a gimmick. Well, oh, that's what's mm-hmm. up. But well, I was I, born. I mean, you know. Well, you never know. Yeah. Um, I was born in Panama, and then I was raised in Texas from 3 to 21. Okay. And then 21, I moved to California, and I had done some naughty movies you may have heard of a couple of them it was on uh, shane's world um was the first one it was college amateur tour it was when they had the reality based stuff and it was coming out and bang bros also was super new and they were trying to get girls in college to do scenes that had never done scenes before and a certain gentleman that worked for this company that i'm not giving him airtime um fuck (laughs) fuck them all this is my show not any of theirs but um it's your time mama 1,000%. 1,000%. It was always my time. They were just in the way. Facts. They were in the way. And you built that. 1, like you, you, you put a lot of work in to, to achieve that. I appreciate that. I'm proud that. of you. Thank oh, you. Love Thank is you. love. Love that is love. love. Um, so we did a scene, co- and did a scene that movie. I never thought I was ever going to do a scene again. I kept in contact with him. And then he hit me up like a month later and was like, hey, uh, a company called Bang Bros wants to shoot you. Like, you can go to Florida, blah, 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 blah. And I, I know exactly what you're talking and about. Then too, bro. I I, and then I went on a flight <laughs> to Miami, and I fell in love with it all. The, the glitz, the glam. They put you in this fancy hotel. They pick you up in all these things. And I was like, well, fuck. Like, college is just not it for me. I can make what you know way that much more money. And that Europe. I was like, hey, I can always go back to school. Like, I'm going to do this and see what it is. So I moved to L.A. a week later, and mm-hmm. Alexis Texas was born. But um, yeah, that was uh, when I was 21. I'm 36 now. Um, I definitely, it's it's definitely a change. I I've see. I feel like for me, it was a 
about learning my sexuality and my like my femininity in a mm-hmm. sense of being a woman and growing up in that because I never no one taught me any of that growing up in that even teaches you but nobody really mm-hmm. like gave me a, a book nobody has, no like, that's a pamphlet, just you know experiences what I mean? or you so it was all I was always a you. sexual person but I didn't have an outlet to do it and mm-hmm. I always was shamed before because they're like oh like we want a first date and like I can't like, date somebody that I had sex with on the first date I'm like okay but makes no sense. But all right, bye. So it became one of those things that I was like, I'm going to use it in my advantage. And I rightfully so and did it. And I, you can't really say fucked your way to the top, but in our job, yes, you can say you fucked your way to the top in a sense because we are sexual athletes and that's what we do. And I feel like every year of what I've done was all sexual, like not necessarily fantasies, but when people are like, what's your, se- like, your sexual fantasy? Like I've done them all. Mm-hmm. Um, it just kind of made me kind of unleash those kind of things in a, in a safe space that gave me like Facts. people to enjoy doing it with that were tested, that were like also the same like-mindedness in me and they weren't judgmental. Like I felt like it was just a whole community that we were just kind of like we were just the same. We bonded yeah. just because yeah. we all in a sense like to fuck. But No, it, it, it is highest form. That's what it is. And that's what it feels like. Talk, because like, it's really like a small community. Yeah, like people don't realize it because they're like, oh, pockets of some bullshit going on. Even when they're like, at the end of the day, like when okay, yeah, how many movies how have you done? <laughs> okay, I'll give you. So mine, mine's four hundred, right? When you I'm, say that, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gotta be double, halfway double, double and a half that. To, just to keep it 100 with you. Half. No, I'm saying I'm trying no, to that, I mean to keep it but, 100 with you. But that like, sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, what I, my point is, all of that is that <laughs> it's not like you would think like, oh, that's a lot of people. But it's kind of generally the same people because it's the same yeah, circle. Cause so it's like kind of like the you 20 all work to with 25 the same motherfucker. Yeah, 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 people yeah. that I fucked. No, no, I feel you at that time. Times. No, I feel you. You know what I mean? Because people are like, oh, you fucked everyone. Yeah, I mean, I fucked a small group of people that all like to fuck and we fucking fucked. all been, but now fuck that. We all got to check, man. Cut the check. That's what it Cut is. We working check. just like anybody else. Are dude. you still doing stuff for companies or just your nah, only fans? Just my only thing. Just, your only uh, thing? <laughs> your only, only thing, thing that is because it's, it's more only than thing. OnlyFans. So that's why I say my only thing. Okay. But I, yeah, I don't. I haven't worked for a company in over two and a half years. Like, how does that make you feel? I don't know yet. Okay. That's it honest. hasn't been long enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling it's somebody a, it's that like the a yes other and day, no like, thing, you know, because it's like maybe real- four years later, five years, later, I'm gonna be like, damn, I miss it, or maybe I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can I relate just, to that for myself. Mine has been like, I haven't shot a scene in over four or five years, and yeah. I've only done my own, my only fans. Stuff. Yeah, only thing. Yeah. Um, but it's only by myself. Um, so I. Don't miss working for companies. I had a great time doing it. But once you work for yourself and, and an you entrepreneur, you're just like, like, oh, I'm hey, getting all this bread for myself. I ain't got to like cut it. You cut me a check and walk away it's and a you perspective. made all kind of money off this shit. Now you I, think I, still, I think I still would have done it regardless because it does get the notoriety. You have to get your, your name up. Like you have to get too, your brand up. things that... You don't maybe want to pay for or do it's whatever. A like, you know what I mean? thing. So it's, it's like a it, it's thing. putting yourself out there. But I definitely feel after having the ownership level that OnlyFans has given us as content creators, I feel like it would. I mean, at this right. point, I you'd have to the, even be things a lot like for this me to and, do anything, and like, podcast situation, whatever, whatever our likeness developed over those years. We could just do our own thing, and that's that's a that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying. What is your? What else are you doing besides your only thing? Well, I just don't you. Didn't you start your own podcast? Yeah, I have a my podcast. Oh, you is, sound um, so modest. Yeah, about don't it. ask podcast. Why oh, sound so modest about it? Like yeah. no, no. I, I mean, you know, I'm modest about everything. Like I'm just. But why? Like, I I'm mean, not, you know what I mean? It's not it, that it you're bragging, but we're on a podcast wanting to know more about Mr. No, Matt uh, Turner. No, don't ask podcast. Okay. And, um, my um only fans is Nat Turner eighty eight slash. Nat Turner, you know, well, Nat Turner slash OnlyFans, but um, have you want to put it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, um, Don't ask podcast. What kind of podcast is it? Or is it? Is are you the only? Are you the host? Or are you? I'm the host. Okay. Definitely the host. Definitely. You have a, a 
you're by yourself. You're doing it. Yeah. So yeah. I can come on your show is what I'm, I'm signing I would, up for. Oh, so that's for real? For real? I mean, that's I was, was segue hanging. So y'all saying like, that. Okay, so, so she's saying on her air that she's going to come to my podcast. Why wouldn't okay. I? I, would, I mean, you're showing no, me love, taking up. your time. But I want to support Tuesdays. what you're doing. It's and, um, so what can, what kind of that. thing is on what kind of like a format? whatever you just same as what we doing whatever we yeah just conversational that's don't no, no, no necessarily have to be sex related yeah or we know who you are we they know who I am you yes. know what I mean we want to get deeper and, and dig a little deeper into how what became of that are how did that cunts become and dig a little deeper. Yeah, you Is know, that what you yeah, tell the ladies? a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. uh, don't fuck with me. But, um, yeah, I'm just saying, just, you know, dig no, a little I, deeper I into who you are. No, I get what you're saying. For me, are. it's about, it's, what I've always loved is about, the, the business has given me a platform to continue and have my brand. I love Alexis, Texas. I love everything that has given me, and, and rightfully so to this white point. But it's politicking. also white girl politicking. You know, I had to hide from those people. <laughs> Big Sean, you know, gave me those lyrics. But they deleted Alexis, Facts. Texas. So you, they didn't like, you know, our our kind. And so they, like, hate on sex workers. So you got to, okay. like, hide behind the no, thing. That, so, that happened to me, too. They so I went to white girl politicking. Twitter, my Snap. And I just didn't even go back there no more. I don't have no Twitter, no Snapchat. So if anybody and kind of any, you definitely should have a paid Snapchat fans. Uh, But I I need to get back. I was just so upset that they. I really need to manage. Come on, anybody doing some crazy shit? You gonna knock me for that? Like for real? We get all of it. That's what we do here at Twerk Tower Enterprises. (laughs) Part of my management team. We're cleaning up. Okay, not this is. (laughs) It's just Instagram right now. That's the only thing I really fuck with on my Facebook or whatever, but Instagram, not turn to 88. And other than that, it's not me, so don't even fuck with it. You know I mean? Have you ever sent a nude pic? No. Why would I? I don't know. Some guys do that out there. Why would People I? Give I'm me not the normal dude. I'm not the normal dude. But like, if ladies, why Google that shit? Why would I send you But do you tell ladies who are interested in you that then they're like, hey, I want a nude. You're going to be like, hey, Google that shit. Google that. Like, why would I? I would that. never send that. I think that's corny anyway. Like, send me a picture of your dick. Like, no, what, what no one needs doing? to be like a whole dick pic. Like, like, what I are mean, we doing? No I don't know. That's just not. You're not standing in the mirror taking naked pics of nah, yourself? Nah, Have you ever nah. taken one but not sent it? No. Nah. I want the truth! Don't lie. I, if, if you probably paying taken for it, a You paying for it. Nigga, I all the way beat off, right? <laughs> Let's go. You got hey, that it's long. It's going to cost you to, to, to open that shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to cost you. Wrong. I'm not just sending dick pics. Girl, you get that shit off the internet. Nine, like, nine, you nine. asking the wrong person for that. <laughs> That's like you. Somebody asks you, send me a picture of your pussy. Like, really? I have. Like, what do we in my personal Google life? Like, no, it's a but if it's somebody that I'm all over the internet, if it's someone I'm intimate with, that is something I don't want it to be work related. Mm, so for me, I have no, taken personal no, no, pictures I get it. and That's, done it before. But no, but this is like some Mind random you, I have fan. Sent it to like four people. I didn't say a random. Fan. No, your intro, you know, your situation. That's something different. That's what I'm some asking. Some random you. motherfucker. No, just, I'm asking you. Have you sent a personal? I just pic- pull up and pull my dick out. <laughs> Where you at? I, I get on a plane, I fly there, pull my dick. Like, what are we doing? So you're flying to the pussy. Yeah, I'm flying to the pussy. Have you ever flown out the pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've flown out the pussy before. Only thing Why not? is not turn her down. Is <laughs> it's, it's like flying out the pussy? It, it should could be, a be new... Nat Turner or Keith. I don't know. Oh. Whoever it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay, who's you Keith? You probably prefer <laughs> Keith. Keith was a cool dude. Keith was a cool dude way before Nat Turner was. Is that your first name? People don't understand that. That's my name, Keith. Oh, okay. I thought it was another. I was like, what's going on? My name is Keith. It's not no alter ego. Not your PKA name. My mama named me Keith. See, mine is Alexis, so it's hard because I'm just Alexis. Oh, so you are Alexis yeah. and still Alexis. Yeah. But then when you put the Texas on there. Yeah, she's a whole other then bitch. Then that's a whole other <laughs> motherfucker. She, she, you she know does what a lot of wild shit. I know. That's what I'm saying. You say Keith, we, you know, we Gucci. You okay. say Nat Turner, then so that's Keith just a whole other motherfucker. would you be sending any nude pictures? Keith is not doing that. <laughs> Keith is like, Keith or Nat Turner Pulling is not up. doing that. Like. I'm pulling up with the dick. Okay, like, craziest dick fan story. Since you're a male, you go out, you get seen all the time in clubs. Are people, are women just throwing themselves at you? And do you have like to like, how do you like, 
Heisman, these people, and how do you know which ones to take home? Well, it it goes both ways sometimes. I, I got to tell two different stories about that. It, it's One is the male perspective where I, I'm going to tell a quick story where I was just talking to a female. She didn't know who I was or or what was going on with me. We just chopping it up, you know what I mean? And um, we didn't even get to the part of what you do, what you do, and all. We just Which we I vibing. hate. I hate that question. And no, no, and that's cool with me. And I always answer it the same way because I can't it? get away with it at this point. But I lied in the beginning. Well, I would say I. If you want to know what I do? It depends on what what's going on right now. So right now, it's like what I do or what I've done. You got to ask the right question. Back then, when I back when I was same. doing it. It was, listen, I do adult movies. So what Simple do you say now? That. Well, now <laughs> I probably try to beat you in the head. Like, what, you want to know what I used to do? Because I don't do it no more, ne- technically. But technically, you still but are doing But we all still just saying, ah, well, I, I, that just shows the story of you just always kind of still shy away from it at some point. But I'm always keep it 100 with you. At the end of the day, whether I say I used to do it or I still do it, it is what it is. So, because I don't, because what happened, we'll be talking, there's some dude to pull up and be like, yo, I seen you in Big Booty 8 and you was fucking that bitch and you was doing, I'm like, They say it like like, that. I swear to you. Because with the women approach, they'll be like, a million times. Um, I think I know you. Have I seen you? I'm like, I don't know. Where do you know me from? Because I make them say it. I don't tell them, oh, yeah, I'm Alexis, Texas. No, you want to come I get talk that to all me? the time. I get that all the time. I'm talking about the more aggressive. Okay, so he's like, I saw you fucking I know big. you You <laughs> had that before. Like, you know, I, you, I, I seen you in a really, movie. You was fucking such. Not I've had just really where I know great, you from. I've had a really great resting bitch face. And most people are intimidated to say anything wild out of pocket. The oh, most times oh, we'll be at a convention. And if they're drinking, a then convention you can have some and whatever. All that. And yeah, I'll be like, that's, and that's then, then they'll either usually it's be like, I try to uh, proposition me sex. I'm like, do you want to get punched in the motherfucking face? You got five seconds to get the fuck out of my face. Because for me, I'm like, to each his own. That is not my thing. But the fact that you think that I can, you can come up here and come buy me, bitch, buy. No, I can't. Mm-mm, not happening. Mm. You don't want the Puerto Rican no to ticket, come out and buy no me. No ticket. At no ticket. <laughs> Hold on. At no nah, ticket. Nah, fam. Like what nah, up? Like nah, what are we fam. talking about? Nah. I got, I got a couple of racks for you. What's good? Like nah, like <laughs> nah, honey. <laughs> Like, I'll just fuck it's with called you. integrity love. and yes, I know I, did I know porn. what you're saying. <laughs> no, I know people, what you're saying. I get it, but I'm just saying, I know what you're far, saying as far as people, like, I'm like, okay, be and so I always break it down. I'm like, hey, <laughs> would you like that if someone said that to your sister, your daughter, your mother? And they're like, no. I said, so why the fuck are you saying it yeah, to me? Respect the big booty to queen. A co-worker. I know what you're saying. I get it. I get but it. they don't, and but now they do. So I thank you it. for addressing this. But no, I I am it's just like I have to be real about my past. It's just, it's so too told, big. So it be, it became her, too big. It became too big. I get it. I didn't, like you said, I didn't plan on it and being it, this it, big. And it's also something all. that you're not, like, that you're ashamed of. You know what I mean? So it's like, but it's for me, it's always about, it's not that I'm ashamed of, it's about the approach and what that's going to bring afterwards. Facts, you know what I mean? Because then I'm like, facts. I don't want to ask a lot of, or answer a lot of questions. I'm just trying to be like, have fun, like everybody yeah, else. Yeah, just some like, normal shit. Right away, whatever. whatever. Dude like, shit. That's why I came with that whole hashtag dude shit like i'm not i don't run i don't wake up running around being that turner like i'm you, keith mm-hmm. just a regular dude Nat at the end of the day now turner if you bring it out i'll I pull it out for you <laughs> if that's what you want so how but, did the story of like how did you really get in from going from keith to nat turner like did you always were you just always like this I as always, far as a sexual I, I, like I, obsession that's like you just fuck no, a lot like, it wasn't a sexual from? obsession at all to me it was a money thing like i've been through a lot i just came home from doing seven years in jail a year and a half later i'm in i'm from new york and i moved to california to do porno don't know nobody don't know so shit so how did don't you, did you shit. just come up with this idea when you were in jail and you're like no. i'm going to try it you're just like let me take a whim and just fuck it cuz i just got out and did this time like it's just a fresh start like how did like no, how does one it, it go wasn't about that? really an energy that i had in jail it cuz shit it, it, According to me, I was going to come home and keep robbing and and, yeah. and, and motherfucking sticking motherfuckers up and whatever the case may be. But when I came home, I met a certain person that knew a certain person and 
they was like, yo, this is what we doing. And I'm like, okay. And then they showing me the check. That this is what we get paid doing it. I'm like, wow. So it wasn't about me having sex or, oh, I'm going to go fuck a bunch of chicks and all that. It mm. wasn't about that. It was like, this is what they paying people for that? Because didn't you keep this your is what I've been job through. and you were coming back and forth for a while? At, for a minute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I kept what I was had going on, you know what I mean? And yeah. then I say, you know what? Fuck that. I'm I'm, I'm moving and <laughs> yeah. you're going to pay me to have to sex Cali, to do Cali. this? Cali. I'm, I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up the Cali. Okay, facts. so Nat and came to Nat Turner then became. Had no name. Okay. Just pulled up. So then we went back and forth with what the name should be. And we came up with Nat Turner. Nat Turner is a former slave, big black dude. I mean, I showed up. And um, I thought that was a cool gimmick for me. You know what I mean? I'm getting my respirations and I'm getting, <laughs> I'm going in right now. So that's what it was at, at, at the point of that. And it went over a lot of people's head. They didn't even know who the fuck Nat Turner was. They was like, oh, Nat Turner, whatever, whatever. But then, you know, then at the end, they was. started realizing yeah. what I got that name from and how it was. Not to say that I agree with everything he did, but you know what I mean? I mean, it do we is, all fully agree what, it is. And what it everybody is. does? Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? I'm not going along with some of the things that had happened in that revolt, but, I, you know, it is what it is. So when you first started in the industry, was it easy to, like, be welcomed into the industry? Did you feel like, uh, like there's people watching me? Because it's something that people always think, like, well, how do you do it? Like, well, like, you know what I mean? And I always tell them the worst case scenario because I'm like, hey, can you keep your dick hard if, in the worst case scenario, somebody shits all over you, or if somebody throws up on you, or if somebody tells you that they don't want to have come on their face? Could you? And they're like, no. And I said, it's not for you. Because, again, is that the everyday? No. But worst case scenario, but you have to be like, again, like when I say sexual athlete, I don't mean it to be funny, but it is the truth because. For men, why you guys do have longevity in the business is because you guys are up against a lot of things yeah. and you got to stay hard the whole time. Uh -huh. And then as a director point, you're paying for time, this, that, whatever. So not only are you supposed to be there to do your job, but they're like, hey, already, are you? Hey, come shot. Let's go. Let's do it. And then yeah. if you don't, yeah. you don't know if you're coming back the next day. So like, Facts. Facts. And, and, so and, was it always like you're like, nah, this was just meant for me? Or was there like some kind of like... Well, in the Routine beginning, you had to get into to like actually make it well, to who you are now. In the beginning, that I didn't understand any of that. I wasn't aware of that pre particular pressure of like you said, oh, it's time. We didn't pay for makeup. We didn't pay for location. So Let's they were more low key going. about it. Yeah, no, no, not that they was low key about it. I just wasn't aware of the whole total. Of, you, okay, you gotta okay. understand, like you understand when yeah, you yeah, first, yeah, you yeah. don't know none of this. Of like how you much don't that know even what, costs, how, what that even how means, it, the yeah, you don't know this that. shit. Okay. You just, you just whatever. You just, you just You're there say, to be like, hey, her. That's <laughs> what I'm fucking. Okay, let's go. Da, 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 da. So you don't, you, you don't, you're not aware of that in the beginning. At the point that I became aware of it. I understood it already. Like, oh, I get it. Because I was pushed into a higher level. What Justin Slay is the one that put me on. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And he was already at that Big level time, yeah. by that time. So what I just paid attention to what was going on through him, because he was paying for that. Mm -hmm. So when I understood, like, okay, that's how this shit works. So I had that crash course early yeah. in the game of how this shit worked and what it's really so worth. it kind of was like a mentor to you. Yeah, yeah, basically. At the end of the day, it's like, nigga, fuck this performance shit. Own your shit. Take your money. Pay for the production. Mm -hmm. And own it is what my whole premise coming into it was. It was. So... My thought, you know, my my story was a little different. I can't lie to you as far as just some dude coming off the street and just, oh, I want to do porn or da da da. You might jerk him or just shoot. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like that with me. I understood what was going on, and I went accordingly to that. You feel yeah. me? No, I feel that because so it's, it was yeah. just a little different in my perspective of not shit. that it was easier, but you also had somebody leading that you that you trusted into that yeah, path that yeah. he was doing something that you wanted to emulate because he was doing being so successful in that genre. And, and, of yeah, yeah, and then you because at the end of the day, you don't know that if yeah. you just coming in just being a performer, 
You don't know, like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to pay somebody else to do this, and I'm going to get the bigger money at the yeah. end of the day. You don't no, know that. At the for end sure. of, like, when you first come, like, you don't know that. It definitely helps like, to have somebody that's telling you valid information that yeah. actually is, you would think, in their best interest. Like, I also, too, is, like, everybody's um, career and everything they do is different for each individual because based on their experiences mm -hmm. and stuff. For me, I've how never came had in, how you... a bad experience uh -huh. ever. And if it's because of how I did come in, I kind of, not that I was given a blueprint or anything, especially with my ex, like he was in the industry for a long time. He was respected. So people didn't fuck Do with me. not want to see his you know name what I mean? at like, all. He's <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not going to say that it. either. I mean, we've talked about <laughs> it on other levels, but it don't need to be. <laughs> She's refusing to mention this motherfucking name. Nah, well, right, ex I is an ex for a right, ahead, But ahead, yes, but if it wasn't, I will say for him, he told me kind of in a sense, and not even him, even the, like I can't with you. That what it was, you know what I mean. So I kind of got like I was kind of protected a little bit more than some girls didn't have that kind of person to kind of guide them in whatever way. And so, like with you, with like Justin, it's like if you didn't and have a bad. Justin that Slayer, was was benefiting his feelings. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. It was just I mean, you want to talk about it? We could talk about it. What? No, no, go. I don't, I don't really. Fuck. I ain't come here to talk about that. I think it's so good. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I've I'm talked about. Different I'm poking things, back you know at you. I'm just hey, I'm. You know, this show also for me this season has been about me being vulnerable, <laughs> and people have asked me questions too, and I sometimes wouldn't answer them. But at this point, I feel like it's only fair for private talk to get to know me as well so you know it's yeah, I'll, I'll take the poking of the bear no that's what's up you my people it's, it's poking of the bear so sure what is one of your secret fetishes nat do you have any since you've been in the porn industry for a long time do you live them out on your only thing is there something you're holding out for at a certain nah, time i don't think there's no secret fetishes you okay what are your fetishes currently <laughs> here's a light that is just, <laughs> I feel like I need more tequila weed, for this. You know what I'm saying? Gotta do Anthony, that. Anthony, will you give me the tequila, please? <laughs> yeah, another shot. She talk about fetishes and shit. Like, Bring the tequila. Yeah, I need another it's shot. Friday, you know what I mean? But then Here I don't want to bore you. I don't know. What, what is a fetish to a fetish somebody be, like me? But what be, is a fetish to a, a dude like me? Like, But that's what we want to know. 20 you, years of porno. But I myself, like, so my what's, fetish, what's I still, I have fetish. a foot fetish. Okay. I love feet. Like, I think that. I hate feet. I love feet. Feet to Only me Only feet I feet. may love is a baby feet. Because they haven't walked anywhere on earth. <laughs> <laughs> They've just been. Uh, <laughs> After three years old, I don't like your feet no more. After three, that's after, fucked up. After I like a my year toes. Old, I, I like, like my toes no sucked while I'm being fucked is a favorite of mine. Damn, it's a. That's but you a, know what? That's a favorite. Nah, to be honest, with you, I would do that if I knew that turned you on. Even though I don't like fucking feet, I hate feet. I would do that. That's the okay. type of dude I am. Let's talk about that. I am a sure. pleaser. Thank okay. you. I am a pleaser. I don't like feet, but if you like. Put but if I was like, the air, it was like, ooh, I like that. Suck you wouldn't be like, bitch, be like, get away no, from me. No, I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, you're like, fine. You would think I would. Or you'd be like, go Ellis in the shower, bitch. Nah, because if you wifey? put them in my face, mm, it's going then down. you better have had them shits together. Like, come on, man. okay. So what is okay? But still, I okay. That's even a minor thing of, I, and then I before, which I haven't anymore, but. I went through a pee fetish. Like, I really just wanted, like, after sex, I'd, like, have ch or take a shower with somebody. And for whatever reason, I wanted to pee on them. And because it just... Pee made, on, the, on what? On them. Their like, face? No, not on their just, face. Just, just on, on them. on my arm or something? Like, like your leg, you know? What are you peeing on? Like your leg. Yeah, I'm standing there like... I have, I have peed on somebody's head, but it was after a scene, and it was more to degrade oh him. But, God. like... Yeah, maybe not degrade him, but it that felt was, no. It I felt understand very, those like, scenes. Powerful, like I, I was like, scenes. yes, I know those. Scenes. But it wasn't. Like, it wasn't filmed. About. Well, I think maybe a BTS. But he asked for it. You know what I mean? I only do things when people ask for it. <laughs> I never got peed on, but I peed on somebody. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah you know. It, but I, I only don't. did it. But I only did it in the shower, like because it was. It was almost almost like it had nothing sexual to be going. It was more like. The powerful, like I don't know why, but that was like years ago. No, that's 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 okay, not Okay, so bad. fetish for you. That's I've told you cool. too. 
I, Can I, I hit think, that, or you just want to? You still don't no, I'm finish. trying to I'm always to get it lit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you don't like feet. You like armpits. No, I'm not into that type shit. Mm, do you like saying? public sex? Yeah, if 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 it, not with somebody I've been with for years. But like spontaneously. Oh, oh, I just met you or somewhere. We fuck. Yeah, that's cool. But we've been together for years. I'm like, mom, let's just go home and fly. Weird. <laughs> How much <laughs> pussy gets thrown at you at the club, Matt? I'm not. I'm not gonna say. I don't get no. I want the, want the truth. You are a liar. <laughs> Do, you <laughs> Do you have a roster then? Because I see Yo, you out with listen. different girls now. Is it just for the only thing? No, listen, listen. First of all, listen. I'm a cool dude. Like okay. I don't, I can don't, 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 don't think every girl you see me I with. Don't. I'm fucking. I could definitely know no, that a no. lot of the ones are, nah. are female friends because nah. you have that. Like I just know, and nah. then I know, but I know it, the ones that there were a little bit more like when you're really fucked up and like things are getting a yeah. little, and then I don't see you for a while. <laughs> Where are you now? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, that means, that means, that I sound like a jealous ex girlfriend. Not really. I'm just one of those like I'm a cuckold. Maybe from the side on the Instagram, I'm like, what's not doing tonight? <laughs> what's going on? Nah, I, I don't. You know what's funny is we and it gets oh, me we in almost trouble were sometimes. in Miami. I think we were at the same time, but I was leaving when you were coming, like just recently, um, and because my sister got married in Florida, and I went to Miami to have some me time on the beach, and then I saw your story, and then I was like, fuck, I was leaving, but it was like the in between, and I was like. And you know why? I went to New York. I just went home just to visit. It got cold. It, then it started to snow. I said, yo, I started looking up tickets to Miami. It's only a two, two hour, 20 minute Do you always, away. do you do something so like all like, the time? I'm I feel out. you're very spontaneous. No, no, hell no. I cold. looked at that shit and it said a $90 one way ticket to Miami. And, and you, it was snowing. I said, I'm out of here. But for like, you to Miami, not? you can make money. And then I went so, there and ended up like, calling Sarah J. And she was like, yo, oh, you here? Oh, go get tested. I got a scene for you. I was that's like, the cool thing about going to like okay, let's go. Like, let's do it. Yeah. And I did it. I swear. And I it was her, Monica Santiago from Brazil. She was there. I think it was the night I saw y'all do the shoot. I think I was either like we leaving did it. that morning we, or whatever. Yeah. So, I was so like, that oh. paid for the whole Miami trip plus more. Nice. So now I'm like... So you only went out there for the just because it was cold in New York. Okay, and then you it just was got snowing, the and then I got that. So it's a blessing, you know. It's a good, it's a good look. Whatever. Have you ever had a weird fan experience that you were either uncomfortable, or you made it have like a situation happen? Well, that was the only situation. What I explained earlier, a motherfucker come up and start talking crazy and. But does that happen the all the time or that thought. was just that one time? It, it happens enough for me to be like Have you ever fought a fan? No. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't let it go there unless they I mean they would have to definitely um yeah. do something crazy. Yeah, something crazy. If, they, if this was years ago, like I said, I came from some shit. But now no I wouldn't let that happen. You you would really have to violate me. For me to, to go into, you, you know what I mean? Especially knowing you a fan and you just acting crazy about being a fan. If it was just some straight disrespectful shit. I feel like rip, your voice like, is nah. just very also like, it's very calming in a, in a, like either in a stern or whatever way that you're going to be like, I feel like they wouldn't overly extend like, hey, like to like fuck with you in that line. Because, like, you're either really, you're super nice and inviting to a lot of people, but yeah, I feel like your tone could change. Your exactly. Like, it's like that. Like, oh, don't. Day. Exactly. It's like, don't poke the bear too yeah, much. Don't, yeah, basically. You got it right. Like, so, you being Nat Turner, people come up dude. to you, all these things. Have you ever been rejected for sex or to get with a woman? Yes. How does yes. that? <laughs> I'm, I'm going through that situation now where it's like, I'm out of this. I don't do that no more. My like, it's just, so it's just Keith. It. It's just Keith right now. But do you answer or do you introduce yourself as Keith? Always. I've never in my life introduced myself to nobody as me yeah. being that Turner. Ever. It, the whole 20 years of me doing it, mm -hmm. 
Never. That's interesting. Never. I mean, I don't ever like anything, but what I'm saying, why that, like when you go out, How you everybody, doing? I'm Keith, I'm Nat Turner. No, but people never. see you all the time and like with, with guys and stuff. So like you said, like, like you couldn't run from it. It's the same thing as when you say to Some me as a woman, I would be like, are that. you lying to me? I thought you thought your name was Nat. I no, mean, no, no. I've had that you know before. No, like no, no. You're, you're right. Me. I've had that before. Like I thought your name was Nat. Because I've said some wrong like, names myself. No, 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 no. That's not my name. Yeah. You know what I mean? My name not Nat. Oh, but if you want to call me that, that's cool. That's what you want. You want that? That's. I mean, you want I got that? that for you. I mean, I'll if you needed a quick. fun, safe word, what would yours be? I don't. I don't have a fun, safe word. Like, what are we talking about? Like, fun, sexually, you're in the bedroom, and like, maybe there's something like My you know. Fun, safe word is, is safe word? putting you in a chokehold. Like, bitch, don't do that. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're choke holding bitches? Like, what, what you doing? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> that is hilarious. Like, hold on, stop. Like, what are you doing? Uh, we don't do that. No, no. No, 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 <laughs> Do you go oh, over? Some like, Matumbo like, shit like Like, no, in the no. scenes, you know, you go over, like, no list. And, like, I things know. you don't. Like, I before you do what your no list is, but I've never had a no list. No, I'm talking with girls. But, like, when, you're, when, when they're, like, having sex with you and you're, they're not in the industry, is they, like... How do they know not to do that without getting choked? We don't do no lists in your personal. Not no Who list, but that? not no list, but things that they don't like, like off limits, like may, like obviously right well, away you know the what? first time you're I, fucking someone. I just someone. pay attention, and, and, and I think that this is you know this science to all you dudes out there. Real talk, like you gotta pay attention. At the end of the day, uh, the female is always gonna tell you what she don't like or what she's into. It's up to you to really pay attention to that. If you doing something that's not, if she not feeling that, she's going to let you know. I don't give a fuck. It, it could be an elbow move to an eye wink to a <laughs> eye brow. It, it could be anything. Like, sure. And that's what I mastered in, in the time that, because I did a lot of time in jail. And that was one of the things I linked on to is paying attention. Mm hmm and understanding body language and how that works. It was just a bunch of science on it, and I looked up as were much as watching, I could. Were you watching my movie? You don't movie? watch no, it, it's really. magazines, my bad. Were you, were you watching, or were you looking at the magazines and jerking off to me now? <laughs> no, you wasn't in the game then. Okay. I'm a little older than you, so okay. stop it. <laughs> yeah, I was, you wasn't, you wasn't around. You was, no, it was no You're like, bitch, Lexus, don't date me Texas. that much, but Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm about 10 years older than you. Cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Cut it out. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, so it wasn't me. That who, wasn't the who case. Who were you masturbating no, with those whatever. magazines? whatever. Whoever it was, whatever. Did you have that's, any? Like, were you but it wasn't even really your, that's not even what he, my, my point. It was just, just normal body language and how you present yourself and how you looking at me right now. Like, I could... I could what tell I you fuck you? with me, like real talk. I could tell you fuck with me. Because I look at you in the eyes. No, it's not that you're looking Body at me language. in my eyes. It's the way you're looking at me in my eyes. Okay. It's a whole lot of other shit going on other than you just looking at my eyes, man. Mm, it's okay. a I lot feel going some on right now. Here. I feel and look, so look, see, <laughs> and then how you just looked away just now is yeah, like you were I'm pimp doing too to much. Me. Yeah, see now I'm, were, I'm looking at your eyes a little too much you now. Were, you were so you have to take to a second to look away. Around something that you know I may or may not believe all the way, but I'm gonna <laughs> navigate until I believe what I'm. It's saying love. Love to is love, you. mama. Love is love. It's, I'm just saying, that's so, what I understood. You, you were very attention. receptive of like yeah. people's so body, that's like just, everything yes. just being and aware. It, and it goes of, with but sexual that's important. too. And I also spoke about this earlier too. I feel like there's. Not enough people like in the younger generation doing being oh just being aware of what it is because people don't care as much anymore. They just want instant gratification. Where before now it's like you're taking the time. It's like everything from like like how you approach a woman, from how you talk to her, how you take her like take her on a date, or even with your girl f that are just friends, still paying for things or making her feel like a lady. Nowadays it's just not like that. Where I feel like that's also too why I gravitate to people like yourself is that. You just have that genuineness of like that's just who you are as a man, and I don't think there's a lot of people who are as vocal as you in that sense and doing what you've done and being an advocate for just being you. I appreciate that, and you know what? Also, the problem that I'm having right now, I want to bring up, is that having a situation, like having a relationship, like a real relationship, it's not. I don't think I'm believed 
because of what I've been through, who I am. I don't know if you go through that as well. It's just like, nah, yeah, I'm ready to settle down. I don't, I don't care about. But are None you are no you on dating it. apps or is it just something that no, you do I'm authentically? No, I don't know dating apps. Like, no, but have you no. tried to authentically date like people or are you just like how are you? Because this is me. It's like dating in general. I'm single and I can't go on dating apps because everyone either knows you. Even yeah, if they, they, didn't, think they think it's it a is. Yeah, or that oh, is that is. you? That's not really you. And me again. I'm old school. Like I'd rather you, meet you. somebody organically or know like in a situation like that. Nah, but it's also that on a dating too app. is where now it's like. Where I'm at in my life, also the people that I surround myself with, is I don't invite people to like make me feel bad about what I've done in my past because it doesn't define who I am. I'm only a, that's part of what my life, but I did, there's so much more to me than that. Even if I was still currently doing, there's so much more to people that I feel like I don't put myself in that like pigeon thing. So I don't feel like I attract people like that, or I just don't invite it. And for me, also what I've had to learn personally is. The whole, like, when does Alexis Texas end and when does Alexis begin? Because when I was trying to date in my personal life and, like, being intimate was weird for me because I didn't want to be too much. Or I didn't want to be like, oh, are you acting? Are you faking? And I'm like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, no. Like, I, you know what I mean? And I didn't ever want it to be that. Or I wouldn't be at first, wouldn't send pictures or whatever. And then they're like, do you even like me? And I'm like... I yeah. don't want to sound like, I, <laughs> like I sell this on like, the yeah, fucking this internet. Is what I do so like, for if like, you want you me to send do you a that, picture. then maybe that's your love language and I'll do it more. Man. Made to five other people too, but. Well, I get you know it, it's mean? personal. Maybe this outfit you didn't put on a thing just, just, just for me. But for me, I, I feel get like it. I've haven't. So like we talked about thing, the dick picture earlier. I get it, but. I, I, I still, for me like, personally, in my personal life, I do not ever ask for dick pics. I do not want, I think for, I think it's only as I for and call it sex or whatever but I think it's more of a female thing uh -huh. and it's like I, mean, I don't think you have to be naked but be more enticing like maybe a picture or whatever but I don't think dudes I think it's just uh, it's just weird like I don't want your, I don't want and then maybe because people send I can me send you any dick but but my thing is maybe because I get <laughs> dick pics from my fans and I'm like why there used to I be a time I can send you any random dick I used like, to have, you know that's my dick <laughs> You get some birthmark on that motherfucker. They fucking you know, know that about? it's your dick. I know dicks. I know. No, but I, I mean, if I'm you know me, dicks. if you know me, you know my dick. But I'm just saying, if it's some random person sending you a dick pic, how you know that's his dick? Because, I mean, back in, I mean, well, there's a lot of things. Instagram, there's on there, they're showing dick pics all the time. Have you seen? You want to show you my DMs? No, I don't know. But how you know that's this particular person? That okay, said he could have just had somebody else dick and send that to you. I'm trying you. to think. No, okay, so only one time, and it wasn't a dick pic. They sent me a video of them masturbating, which is really hot. I liked that. But oh, okay, so that's yeah. different. You see him. Yeah, like, and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely dick, sexy. That that's was, different. I, I actually reminisce. I didn't like, the person doesn't matter, but the video. <laughs> oh, just how, how was it? How how was the camera I mean, angle? I mean, at From the here, it was an amazing. It was a solo, a yeah, mirror joint. I, I think it was a mirror. I, think okay. it was a mirror. <laughs> I don't know. It turned me out at the time. I, I have no interest in that person anymore at all in life, but I just had a great flashback. I'm yeah, about to put me a jerk off pitch on uh, OnlyFans. Ooh, oh, you like baby. that? Okay. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the best advice that you think you've ever gotten in life? Stay out of the way. Stay out of the Stay way. Stay the fuck out of the way. Is, do you do that? Be you humble. That? Don't let nothing really get to your head about whatever kind of success you got in anything. And um just try to be try to be happy. You know what I mean? Try. That's all you can do is try. I'm not I mean Shit, shit don't work out sometimes. <laughs> but at <laughs> but least you tried. At least I tried. Like, nigga, I tried. So um, I think that's the best advice that, you know what I mean, I would boomerang on to anybody else. Just try to stay out of the way. Try to be humble. Try to be happy. You know what I mean, if you could try all those three things, I think that um, shit will pop off for you. Real talk. It'll pop off for you. If people came with a warning label, what would yours be? Yo, take me seriously if I say I'm feeling you like that. I feel like there's something's happening right now in your take life. Is someone seriously. not taking you seriously take out there or not? Seriously. You want me to talk to them and tell them to take I you say, serious? I'm feeling you like that. <laughs> 
I think that's what my yeah right now because you know the the Warner label will change. Mm-hmm. If you asked me that a year ago, it would probably be something <laughs> different. But um, do you I think, think right now that's what it? it, what it that's would your be. warning label. Okay. Do you think there is anybody in a versus that could beat Jay Z? And if so, who? <laughs> I don't think nobody because I mean and that's just me because at the end of the day I've always been a Jay-Z fan even when Biggie was around with Pac was around all that and you know this was really during my incarceration times yeah from like 17 to 25 I was locked up so um, I'm, I kind of missed that whole little era Cause that was from 94 to like 2001 or something like that and I always throughout that time been a Jay-Z fan I'm still a Jay-Z fan and um so I think, Jay-Z all the way I think at the end of the day he went as far as any of them did God bless their their death we never know what how far they would have been if they were still alive but um I think I always felt that Jay Z would be where he is today at that time. So mm-hmm. my my little vision was right, and I always been a Jay Z fan. So I say Jay Z. If that's what the question was, like I just went into a whole like Jay Z fan truth. thing. That's your truth. Oh, oh. <laughs> like nah, fuck that, nigga. Jay Z. Okay. No, that's but, the um, truth though. I, I mean, mean, yeah, that's. If you could have a celebrity threesome, what would it be, or who would it be? I, I, I'm old school, so I, and then she's still looking good right now. Oh, Y'all see Holly us. Berry? Ooh, Y'all she's a Y'all see Holly? Like, come on, that was the original rap lyric of she's who's the baddest chick, like Holly Cat Berry woman, did her, and her every Cat rap woman. lyric, like, other than her. Who I, would it be, Holly Berry and? You said three-way, right? Yeah, I need so two he, chicks, right? Yeah, Holly let me, and let me, who? Let me think, let me, um, I, I. Who's that? that who's that? And then... <laughs> I need three. Uh, okay, three. I, I deserve. I, I deserve two more. You know what I'm saying? Right. Say I'm just, two more. You know Do what I'm it. Saying? Cause you know what I mean. Be selfish with that dick, man. <laughs> Be selfish with the dick. I need two more. <laughs> so we're gonna have to say. I, I'm gonna surprise y'all with the Jada Pickett right Ooh. now. Ooh. That was me, like back then. We talking about in my. Entanglement. You know what I mean? you yeah, get yeah. Tang- I want to entanglement with that, you know. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm going to fuck y'all up again with, like, some a- Angela Bassett shit. Oh, like, you know okay. Yeah. We're going to take all these years back, though. We ain't talking <laughs> about current them. We no, talking current. about them, them. Okay, it's your threesome. You know what I'm saying? It's your threesome. That's, or foursome. So when we talking about current ages, then we're we probably going to have to switch have that Have you ever a had a celebrity bit. slide into your DM? Yes, of course I have, but I'm not going to... Do you slide back? Yeah, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, I'll, I'll let you plead the fifth on yeah, that one. Yeah, but we're going to yeah, take I'm a little bit the, of a break. I'm plead the and fifth. we're going to play Truth with Texas when we get back. I can't wait. Are you ready? Love is love. All right, love all right, love. all right. We are back and we are ready to play Truth with Texas. So, Truth with Texas is a game we play here at Private Talk. Where there's four cards, each ace is a different suit, and each suit is a different type of question. Are you ready to play? We're going to go through all of them. I know you've got that blunt for you, so you're going to tell us all the fucking gems. Don't hold back. Love is love. Mm-hmm. Oh, she, she's, mm-hmm. a, she's adapting my, mm-hmm. my, my swag Mr. Right hashtag she's dude adapting. shit. She's adapting hashtag my... Hashtag dude. My, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love that. That's, I appreciate that. That's love. That's love. All right. Let's do it. Ace of clubs is a kinky question. Are you? Ace is the kinky question. So. Well, see, ace is always, they're all going to be aces, but they're all going to be I don't even know the rules. Bit. I'm just playing that's along. You know what I mean? So the rules are you're going to sit there Gotta and listen to me on. talking because that's what we do. <laughs> all right. Kinky questions here is what's your favorite time of day to have sex? Morning. Morning. So you like to start your Morning. day off. Would you ever have sex before you go to a set? 
If you like to have sex in the morning. Yo, before you go to a set, it, it, if, if you that professional, then you can get away with that. For sure. Are you that professional? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I became so explain, that professional. I wasn't in the talk beginning. What, what professional means to them out there. I, I mean, I, I guess it just it means. means you could still get hard, do your job, and come again later. Like, I would never deprive my, like, say we chill in my... Say if it's my girl, say if it's not, whatever. I'm with a girl, we chilling and all that. I would have never told her we can't have sex this morning because I work later on at 3 o'clock or whatever. Although maybe that might be the more professional way to do it because I, I think as you go along, it'd probably be harder to, harder to get away with that, but... That just wasn't my thought in the beginning. Like, I'm going to have my fun in the morning and go to so work. So you were greedy with it, basically. Like, or, or or I could go to work, definitely go to work, and then come home and still do my thing with whoever I'm with or whatever the case. That's for sure. It might be questionable. I'm Baby, I work at 12 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, let's just chill. I, I. But when I come home, I got you. That's for a fact. I, I could say that. You can say that. Mm, bondage, yes or no? Do you do those types of scenes? I would do the scene. In your, but does I, Keith no, do that? In personal, your personal no, life? No, hell no. You're I don't, not handcuffing. Don't tie me up. I Are don't, you handcuffing anybody? Have you tied nah, anybody if, up? If you want to be handcuffed, I'm a pleaser. I'm a pleaser. So don't do nothing to me that's not pleasing me. I'm not doing that. If it pleases you, then I will do that. So I will tie you up if that pleases you, but it don't so please you, me you to be tied like up. So let's not, I'm that, not doing let me, that. Let me paraphrase of everything. It's like you're down for whatever sexually. If somebody brings it to the table, you're willing to try with that partner if you want to do it. Say if they say, hey, I want to be tied up or hey, I want you to do this to me. You're like willing to do those things, but you're not the one saying, "Hey, bitch, I'm gonna tie you up," or "Hey, I'm gonna do this." Yeah, to you, yeah. Whatever. You just want to do what pleases facts, everyone. You're here facts. to the I'm dick, a pleaser. and you're gonna I'm just give the dick. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Most only member, thing I will, I honestly, only thing I will prefer if anything sexually. If you ask me what I prefer, and anybody that deal with me know that, keep your heels on. So you like simple the shoes. as that. I have is, it a because you, is it because you is it because you don't have, like feet and you want them to have shoes on? <laughs> it may be. You're right. I never looked into that part. What if they I wear? Need, what I need. They I need. I need fur before that. <laughs> no, I, that's that's the thing right now. They say the white girl dirty Air Force Ones. That's the joke right now. Like, They're definitely dirty. Right you got to be They're dirty <laughs> in Air Force Ones, and that's the style. I get it. But no, whatever. That's like a sexual I, I, thing a, right now. No, that's yo, know, that's what they say. I ain't gonna Who's lie. they? You, Who, you go to, into we the need dark to talk web. To you gotta go to the dark web. <laughs> yo. But no, I'm serious. I just heard that the other day. Okay. What, what he have, said, this is not I swear to you, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you where, I have where a they question said that. Like, about because I was told this Dirty and, Air Force and Ones you, is I kind of feel like I know the answer, but I need to ask you this what? question. What's good? Let's shake it. Have me. you ever fake orgasmed? How could I fake an orgasm? Yeah, like you act like you can't, like you came because you weren't gonna come Work at all. Wise? No, in your personal life. No, no. I've heard this as a thing. I didn't think it was a thing, but somebody told me it was because they said no, that they weren't gonna come and they just because they were too either. And I'm the whatever. master of not wanting to come, and I will not fake an orgasm. So I just, just stop. Say, so you'll just say, "Hey, I'm not coming." No, I won't say nothing. I just so they, they, don't come. So like, do they bitch, think you came? She's so knocked down, she not even knowing if I came or not. She's so done. He, like, ah, I'm like, ah, you I just them I too much. I so fucking, yeah, they, they don't know if I came or not anyway. I guess, so this, I guess this is not a great question for a sexual athlete like yourself. Oh, no, you're no, no, no. Down, and I have to keep that in mind, yeah. I, I am a little different. But, nah. And the only time I've ever been asked that was from a private situation with another professional. Okay. She was like, so you're not going to come? I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> what? That's not even Don't worry me. about it. She's like, 
She, she questioned me. She's like, you didn't come like, oh, I don't worry about it. I'm I would be good. pissed. Good. Who says I'm good? That to me, but as a female, no, I'd be like. No, it's not. Yes. But as a professional, it's like. Uh, it's Even not like it's not like no no it's not like you didn't because nah, like nah, nah. like I've me. trained myself so long and so hard not to long and hard are no because of my profession so I trained myself like what is your profession sir I'm a fucking porn star <laughs> I like that the that fuck? was so New York I love it I'm a fucking porn, porn star, star. That's porn star. star. So I love that's it. what I do but so I had to program myself so long not to that it that. it just spilled into just not to like I don't have to. It's but most cool. women like, if they're conscious and not no, I understand. It's like, like I ain't do it enough to make him come. Like, mm. I get it. That's not the point with me. I'm different. Well, I think it's not the point with either because even like I also had with one of my former guests, we were talking about like sometimes when you either masturbate too much, you can't come like regularly because you're like desensitized almost. That it like takes more for you to like come from a dick so you have to like kind of like you know stop doing it so much <laughs> right before you're no, supposed to like no no you right that's that makes all the sense in the world because you desensitize but yourself no to, like, i could still come if i want to but it's not and i normally do don't get me wrong like i will not come on <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm just saying I, i'm just understanding the, that the motherfuckers that completely don't I will come on, you're like advocating. I will. Okay, you're coming. I'm advocating. Yeah, I'm gonna come <laughs> advocating right now, but because I'm a, I'm a come. Yeah, a I'm come a, advocator. A come. Right here, guys. Private talk. We have a special guest. A come advocator is on. Yeah, listen. <laughs> and then everybody want to ask for advice about coming too early, and I'm like, what do you think about? Well, just come again. Some people can't do that. That's right what away. I'm saying. But I don't have the concept of that. You know what? I'm just, I, I, I don't know. Some it's, really no, I get it. I get it. And it's just weird. I get it. I just. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've seen a coworker do to prepare themselves for a scene? <laughs> Yo, looking at a porno. <laughs> Yo, he had a fucking. DVD, looking at a porno, like, yeah. He was just looking at, a, like, a DVD cover? At a porno. No, looking at a video of a porno. Uh, looking at a, a scene or some other scene, whatever he felt like. And I was like, all right, fuck it. That's how you feel. And I said, the chick right there, naked. I just look at her, but whatever. I don't know. I I just, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't go against none of that because do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? This shit is not easy. Have you ever been caught masturbating? <laughs> I want the truth! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> but it wasn't one of those... Oh shit! It was, you just kept going, and it was like, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nah, it was the one party. time I Welcome thought Shorty was on a period, so I went to the. I remember this was a minute ago. I went to the living room, it was like fuck it, <laughs> and then she came out the room like, hey, I'm like, I, you know what I mean? She was, I was mad. Just, Why don't you just? There's been plenty of girls that's been mad. I think it's because of it's a video of me. I think at the end of the day, that's what they mad about. The video of what? What are you of doing? Of me fucking somebody. Like, I watched Justin, my own porn. Uh, you feel me? So, so it's like, like that particular I, moment or I something? I think that's what... Hmm, that would make sense. Yeah, Maybe I get the it. insecurity. She's like, hey, yo, you watching yourself fucking these other bitches? And I'm like, ah. Uh, that's how I get out, well, I'm going to watch somebody else? Like, what the fuck you want me to do? That's it. I like it. All right, next card. Ace of Hearts, yeah, romantic. It's all aces in they're this all, motherfucker. They're all in the all Come on, she's setting me up with all aces. Did you I not listen to the rules? On. We didn't listen to the rules. You know that happens with men sometimes. You just you, know, you just sit here, you don't listen to the rules. But we're gonna get him right. So what we're gonna do is, would you consider yourself a romantic? Yes. What's the most romantic and, and more, thing? And even more romantic when I'm pushed in that direction. Like, What's if, the most romantic thing you've done for a partner? Damn. I don't think I've done it yet. 
Cause <laughs> then how do you say you're romantic? No, nah, because it like I, it goes back to earlier what we saying. Like I, I'm ready for some a, a different situation in my life right now. So, and I don't think it's being reciprocated because of my past and my history and who I am. You know what I mean? It's like okay, I want to be in a relationship. Okay, cool, what up? And it's like no, you don't. Cut maybe, it out. Maybe nah, you, you Nat either. Turner. You ain't you ain't trying to just fuck. Yeah, nigga. But I'm, I think it's also a thing of living in that you really truly feel like that, and it seems that you do. You just have to keep saying that that's what you want, and if the other person doesn't reciprocate it, then that's not the one. You shouldn't have to pressure somebody. And to no, believe. no, and that's and what I'm not, not gonna do. But it's not the pressuring, but even just to show that you're serious. It's that for me is that. If you can't understand where I've come from and all of that, what that brings and entails, it comes with a lot. Because even though you're not shooting anymore for other companies, you shoot for yourself and you're still your own business. But you're also, who I am. but you are a business and you are Regardless. like, you know, you're a brand. Yeah, yeah and I'm a you, brand. And My likeness is going to stop yeah. for anything, whatever, because you've created that because that's who you are. So I believe that intentionally that somebody who is supposed to be in your life is going to accept all of you for who you are. But it also takes change. It also takes environmental change of things that you do that you'll run into people that are quality people and not just because it's quantity based. And to be honest with you, I, I, it's not like I haven't had that. That's one of the things that I can stick my guns to throughout this whole situation of me doing this. I've never had a, a problem with having a relationship and that's never been an issue regardless of what I've done <clears throat> I'm blessed to be able to say that but <clears throat> I think I just wasn't ready then now that I am ready it's like it's a little different where it, you know what I mean but it's, it's also it's, too it's, and it's one of those things that there's sometimes lessons you have to learn in that is that when you thought you were ready before or you didn't and you know the vice versa of that is the feeling of what that means stepped up then. but not even that you could go back and should have whatever but is your timing is your timing is everything so right now but you also need to feel that sometimes just because we want something doesn't mean we get it immediately it means that we work hard for mm. to those things and that we just keep pushing and every day is another growth of what that is and then eventually we get what we want because we've seen the flip side of it and also the in term of being by yourself. It doesn't just be like one day like, oh, I want somebody. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. You know, there's substance to it. If that's what you want, a lasting relationship and not just scraps because somebody's saying that they like you. And that takes time. Facts. And it also yeah, takes boundaries time. and knowing your like, real I could safe. want that today, but that could never happen for another probably, however long it is later. probably 10 people wanted that with you before and they thought they were going to get that, but it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So maybe 10 times you're going to have to see that, that sometimes that, that flip side is that how we really learn lessons to move differently. Because we all want the end, you know, the, the same thing at the end. We want someone to love us, to have, to share with us and to grow with us and to accept us and be seen and, you know, who we are authentically and not because we need to change because of something else of, what people want to perceive that we used to be. Yeah, There's put more your to us Air now. Force Ones with my Gucci's hey. and let's just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So you better start thinking about some romantic shit because that lady's <laughs> coming around the corner now. <laughs> All right. Have you ever had a bad booty call story? <laughs> uh, what's a bad booty call story that like, you didn't get it? <laughs> Maybe, maybe they got too you drunk, thought, maybe. Or maybe they, you didn't, you maybe, wasn't up for you it. You tell us. You weren't up for the job. This is your story. Maybe you've I had none. my bad thing is, is I like anybody else, man, I, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. It, it Sometimes shit just don't work out. Meaning, dick didn't get hard. Hard. Dick, dick, and hard. All right, next card. Ace of, <laughs> ace of what? She's like, all right, next card. Let's go. Another fucking ace of diamonds now. Hey, ace of diamonds. <laughs> this is a spicy question. We all go through that. We all go through What's the most embarrassing moment sexually? I think that's the that same was, thing. That's the that <laughs> same thing. We can answer that already right What's there. What's your longest Shit you've just ever didn't gone? Get right. Your longest you've ever gone without sex? <laughs> <laughs> gel. <laughs> King Kong gel ain't time. got shit on me. <laughs> but um, I was like, yeah, what the fuck is going on? Um, you thought King Kong was coming out the <laughs> yeah, wall? Yeah, I was like, yeah. That's some good weed. Oh, you thought King Kong was coming on the balcony <laughs> on the mother. Even though I heard it before, that time it sounded like it was coming from outside. 
But anyway, um, I just, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that would log on to the same situation. Bad time sexually was, and and the, and so, the situation was bad. So Beautiful. longest time you haven't had sex? Oh, the, oh, we on that? I'm, I'm still telling on myself or some other <laughs> shit. The fuck am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm not perfect. Fuck out of here. So what? Get out of my fucking face. Hey. But um, listen, um, the longest time would have to be jail time. Okay. I Like I said, I did seven years at one point in jail at one time. And yeah, I didn't get no pussy. So, yeah. Fair that, enough. That would be. <laughs> there you have it. Private there, yeah, there you have it. You would keep it 100. Top five porn stars. I don't have a top five because that shit is. Who do you like it, to work with the most? No, it, it's like Everybody. that shit is like a. It, it's a lot of research I'm gonna have to do to really, <laughs> to really, to really honestly answer that. You know what I mean? Like it's okay. Like let's flip it. Years of research. That... I gotta hire a team of motherfuckers and just you know look up who I. Who is, it's who just, is somebody? I've been all over the world with this who shit. Ha, who's somebody you haven't worked with that you want to work with? Mr. Texas? International Cock. Lexus, Texas. Oh, Lexus, maybe? Texas in the building. <laughs> but are you saying that because maybe, I'm sitting in the um, seat? I don't know. Some some chick named <laughs> Alexis, Texas. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> no, that would be one. You would definitely be in the top, what, eight or so? Or so, so like five? Or you said five? You would be in the yeah. top five? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, I think. The one I really had wanted to work with and I ended up working with several times was Belladonna. I think at the time mm, of, of me coming in, somebody that was in before me, if we're talking about people that came after me, you're definitely in that top five. Um, I like it. And Belladonna is definitely that, one of my faves. Yeah, she, yeah, we. Legend. Yeah, that's, 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 Legend. That's, that's my people's right there. And she put a whole lot of checks in my pocket. So, you know, I, I got to show love to her. And um, she always said that I was one of her favorites at the time. Pretty sure she had several favorites. But <laughs> I was, was one of the ones. She was just such a, like, a, a, a <laughs> as far as sexual as, being in the Yeah, very, like, yeah, facts, facts. And um, I'm trying to think of, I mean, I could give a shout out to all a whole lot. At that era, at that time, you know what I mean, we, we got a shout out, Isla Fox. This is my baby mother. We have a 14-year-old son together. Um, How is that co-parenting relationship? No, we cool. It was rough at times, but it is what it is. Yeah. He's, he's, he, he's fucking look like a grown man now. Your so dynamic like, is whatever. really is funny um, yeah, it's, because it's, it's, it's uh, just knowing you and then over the time just seeing now that he's like a little man, like yeah, <laughs> you know what like, I mean. It's like he just grew. It's like you see, stop seeing someone for like a year, and then you're like, oh, it's just a whole different. That's the uh, dynamic. Does he, he, he came out the room one day, and I'm like, yo, it's just a whole nother motherfucker. Like he walked in the room and came out ten minutes later. I'm like, damn, he looked like a whole nother person. That's how fast he's growing. Have you <clears> had <throat> to talk with him of who Nat Turner is, or he just knows? He knew that since he was. Six, seven years old. Yeah. He knew that. Like, every time I take him somewhere, it's like, why everybody want to take a picture with you? Mm -hmm. Why everybody saying Nat Turner? Who is Nat Turner? So I had to immediately explain to him who that was and, and that whole dynamic, yeah. especially since his mother was just as big as I was. It was like, he had to know that sure. early. And um, so, and he just, now he just laughs at it. and yeah. You know what I mean? I think communication is like, you know, I'm, I don't have children, but it's always been for me. People are always like, well, what are you going to kid when you have kids? When they say, I'm like, well, I think that I would be a good parent enough to educate and tell them that there's well, so it'd much be easier for you because I was so active at the time he was growing up. But in, you in probably at that fairness, point, I'll be, obviously, on the it'd flip be side, when I had a, step a little son, different. And he and he was in my life like, you know, he was young, too. And people would come up to me for pictures and. I didn't like it. He wasn't my kid, but he also was my child. Yeah, you know yeah, I, mean? I feel you. Um, so that was the only taste of it, but it wasn't, you know, per se like that thing. So I understand on that level, but 
it was for me it was like time and place i was like if you know if you have a child whatever i'm not trying to take pictures like that like you, know, you also mm-hmm. have a personal you know life yeah, 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 yeah. respectful and you know it's in a different manner and people have pulled me to the side cool but it's a, it's a whole approach about yeah. what it is um but again too you can't deny and again and fortunate is the world that we live in is the female to the male perspective it's of different. what that is it's too because i'm sure yeah, you know, like different. with you being and his plus, dad he's to his a mom boy. you know yeah, if that was my little daughter, it'd be, yeah, no, nah, I feel you. It's just the dynamics that would have been It's still totally like that different. cliche. I mean, sex is definitely I'd have more, been more accept- aggressive with. Sex, no, sex is feel, definitely more acceptable no, nowadays. No, I get it. But I, I think it. the the gender separation is still evening itself out. I think it's yeah. on, on its way, whatever, and something you. is over and embellished in certain things. But I think that those are when I when we when I talk to fellow coworkers so like yourself, is like there's so many things as like being in the industry that I do love of certain things, but then sometimes just because of safety, I'm like, uh, how far do you go in? And then no. how far do you, if I have all the security that's not inviting either. So it's like no, give and take you. of what that all means. I feel you. Baby. Lube or spit? Hmm? You heard what I said. Sp- lube or spit? Spit. Hey, how do you spit. do that when you I have cotton? I fucking hate now? lube. <laughs> It's hard. No, yeah, that's when you get stuck. When you just that's choke, when you be like, like cut, you cut. Like Wait a minute, give me a minute, cut. No, you choke on it, spit, and then you just all. Well, keep that's going. you. I ain't choking on nothing. No, you make the person you choke on, on it. Up. Is what I'm and saying. Then take God. that. Yeah, duh. Nah, that's nasty. Oh, oh. <laughs> you don't like spit? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, don't say you're talking You're about talking some about shit nasty. What are you talking about? No, I'm still sure some shit a, still be nasty girls, to you. Have you had? You nah, know, like, it's have just you, made a you know sport? what I'm saying. Yes, I, yeah, and that's not nasty yeah. to you. But mm. someone spitting on you is gonna be nasty. No, 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 no. I'm not now, saying I nobody's spitting like on spit me. No, in no, my no, mouth, no, no, no. And I I'm don't not mind spit that. on my pussy, spit on my whatever. But spit in my mouth is my one. Nah, don't fucking do it. See I, what I, I mean? There's still I some almost, things that's still nasty to you. I almost choked somebody because of that. And there's somebody looking at you like, ah, something could be nasty to you. What do you mean? No, no. something still could be not like, oh. Like, but I'm just saying you're having fluids human. on you. You have fluids. We all going to have fluids things. on us. As from the start, fluids is involved. Why are you going all but over? Certain you got a fucking particular hose influences, over here? I mean, <laughs> certain particular f- fluids. It's just not three times. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, see, I'm like certain fluids. It's not what you really want. So you know spitting, I mean? no squirting all day. No, you can spit, but don't spit on me. You spit on the dick, no spit on your, on your pussy. Face. Don't spit you at spit me like, or spit like. like you I'm gonna choke you after that. Like, you like this okay, yeah, That's fuck your that. that. No, nah, don't challenge that me in nothing. No, Chucky. no, that you gonna spit on me? You must want it to get choked. But I would never spit in someone's face. I'd spit on your dick. I'd spit okay, like on those cool. things. Okay, cool. Okay, all right, all right. My bad, my I bad. I was just saying, enough, my bad. So I said you would choke my bad. on it. I'm just saying. You're talking my about bad. all other things all right. now. You wanna fight with me? You don't want these hands now. <laughs> <laughs> Boricua. We got hey, into some shit. I was like, oh, oh. All right. Ace of Spades is a naughty question. It's the last card. Hey. Biggest turn off. <laughs> I think I just found it. Why do I, why do I always go to the one right? <laughs> no, you might not have. Because I'm going to go back to something okay. I told you that I do like. Okay. And it's not the biggest turn off. Definitely bigger turn offs than this. But like I said, I do have a hill fetish. So it's like, it. <laughs> at that some point, I don't see them hills pop on. Whether we going out, we just have a set. Whatever we doing, if you're not a hill person. So if real, you're wearing Air Force Ones every time you go out, it's a no. Nah, nah. What if they have dusty heels? I'm not showing up with you no more. I'd rather <laughs> dusty hills than, than no heels at all. Than no hills. You can have some, we can work that out. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if and it's that deep, I cop them for you. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know what I mean? Go hill shopping. I got you. But have you ever suggested that because you never saw heels on someone? And be like, hey, let's. Do yeah, this. I threw that little <laughs> hint in there. Like, mom, like we could go get you some hills. Like, I mean. She's like, no, nah, I'm like, good. We could do that. Yeah. And she's <laughs> like, I don't need shit. Like, I don't need it. <laughs> nah, I can't fuck with you. Yeah, I can't. I'm I'm looking for the back door after that. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking out the back door after that. So I I have a hill fetish. I'm in the hills. I'm not saying walk around all day, every day with your hills on. I understand flats is important. 
Sneakers is imp- a, Air Force a, Ones is important. Like, you know, dressing I need up that. Like, like, you know what I mean? I'm not even saying put a whole elaborate outfit on. Just neck it with some heels on. I'm I'm yes. Gucci. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. I'm good with that. Mile High Club, yes or no? Well, like had sex on a plane? Yes, yeah, sir. That's a Mile yeah. High Club. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I Commercial have. or a private? Huh? Commercial or private? Nah, it was it was commercial. <laughs> Mine it, too. It's okay. It what airline? <laughs> oh, Delta. Mm, I was Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> well, you why know, do you like, seem so shameful about it? No, no, because I'm thinking about the time that it happened. I was like, okay, oh, so we really pulled that off. You know what I'm saying? Was it someone you Cause knew? Because it gotta or be. No? no, it wasn't. Okay, tell That's us the story. The Can we know no, the that story? That was the ill part about it. Tell I just us. met her on the plane. I was on my way to uh, Atlanta. I was on my way to Atlanta from here, from Cali. She was from Cali and was really one of them real empty planes where it was just like nobody on a plane. And Did she know who you it, were? You were just vibing? Was nah, it just she like, didn't know who I was. That's what I'm saying. So Ke- how do you get... Keith is an ill nigga too. Like, I get that because nah, that's Keith an extension. Is a cool dude. But, like, but how do you get to fucking? I get like maybe a hand job, blow job, cool. Fucking and a stranger. I need more details. Thank you That's very much, not, not I think that, okay, we, we, we got to go further toward Nat Turner that that happens a lot. So I can't speak for the average person where something like that happens. It doesn't surprise me anymore. Not to say that I expect it to happen, but it but doesn't. It won't, it, it won't, it won't like, shock you. It won't shock like, oh me God. to the point where I won't function in that situation you, coolly, you're cool, like on some, yeah, it'll, it'll be like, That's yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, 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 okay. it won't startle me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to say that I'm expecting it and it happens all the time. But you but know how it, to handle it, that situation I, when it doesn't yeah, rise. When it pop, Literally. You can fuck it up. If you're this not used to that, some people, you can fuck it all the, the way up. Because of the environment, A, or just because it's like, of like oh, getting oh, caught, oh, 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 or what oh, 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 that oh, oh, means. It's a lot of factors. People get, it's a, it's a head game, it's literally. other people on this plane, like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, wait a minute. Oh, 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 Y'all what, both what gotta you, be teammates. What you doing? Uh, no, you, uh, what? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, it's that, oh, for That's real? That's not give a fuck. And it's easier for the female, because you don't have, you, you already aroused. You up here, you just want to... I have to be yeah, aroused. But they're more, I feel like, but we're more like, fuck, we're going to get caught. So we just want to do it. And do it. I don't know. No, no, no. It's way more pressure on the dude. Come on. Okay, what position it's way did you more do? Pressure on the she dude. sitting on it? Were you side mish? Were you spoon? What? It was a spoon little situation because we were trying too. to duck. Mm-hmm. From, was there you know a blanket I mean? involved? Huh? Was there a blanket over you? Nah. No, <gasps> ruthless. No Mine going was a over. blanket and, sm- and spoon, so and I had you to were make more sure that shit me. went a little fast, but it was a long so flight. How long was the fast? Minute? 30? Nah, Two. nah, nah. And nobody I'm went by? Quick. And nobody went by? <laughs> nobody no. said anything? Nobody said nothing. She didn't scream. You didn't do nothing. No, well, she knew know. not to scream. I mean, some people can't resist. Like, oh, you know, oh. Nat Turner came out, and if she did, then fuck it. I mean, she did. Maybe she like, did. Sorry, man. My my. <laughs> like I said, it wasn't really crowded like that at that time. I never did it. The other time it happened, we went actually into the bathroom, but that time it, you know, what I mean, we was just quiet, real, real quick. I don't even think I came. It was just, just the fact you did. that we just did. Well, we it. found out that that doesn't matter for yeah, you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't care if I come or not, god damn it, it's the action. Yeah, you just want to stick did it, it in something. We did it, god damn it. Fuck it, yes. Don't worry about me coming. You, you just come, god damn it. As long Truth as you didn't Texas. came, we Gucci. Mm, baby, <laughs> yay, baby. Well, that is the conclusion of Truth with Texas. Is there anything that you would like to ask, Miss Texas? I think I'll ask what I, you know what I mean? We 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 got to where we needed to get to. We got all those things. Okay, yeah. well, we'll if remind. not, then we'll run it back. You know what Ay, I mean? I like Keep what the I'm window hearing. crack. Holler back. Ay, you know what all mean? love, right? Is that what you tell me? Love is love. <laughs> love is love. All right, private talk. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode with Nat Turner because I know I did. Bah. It was great catching up with you, and I um, we'll see you until next time. Love you, Mama. Stay safe.